Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know, my name is Ali Berry and I am a freelance illustrator. Today's video is going to be about not setting goals for 2023. Now, I know that may seem a bit strange, but I've seen a lot of artists do New Year's resolutions, put down goals and um, things that they want to achieve as well. And, you know, I've also, I've tried to do that. Um, but unfortunately, life happens. And for me, I found it very hard to stick to my goal, even though I was being really productive and doing really well in terms of like, the fact that I started doing a children's book, you know, and doing those sorts of jobs. So, unfortunately, because I had other work and other priorities, I could not complete my 2022 New Year's resolution. So I thought that it was a good time to not have resolutions this year and to actually have projects, rather, that you want to complete. So basically, the way that this is going to go is I've got an a couple ideas of projects that I want to do and, you know, ideas of how many illustrations I want to complete in a month and prompts and um, monthly, monthly drawing um, challenges as well that I want to do. So I'm going to try my best to note all of those down, to note all the projects, all the ideas and make a plan so that I can actually complete them and that way I'm still being productive I'm still meeting the certain expectations and ideas that I of, that I wanted to complete stuff without having so much pressure of a goal and a lot of the goals that I've seen can sometimes be very vague and not really specific you know so some people will say oh I want to be better at drawing or I want to release a webcomic. Well, what's the webcomic going to be about? What is better at drawing? What is that definition for you? Is it that you want to have better anatomy skills? Is it that you want to go into digital? Is it that you want to do shading better? Do you want to draw plants better? You know, that sort of thing. So the reason why I decided to do projects rather is because that way you can set yourself up with a brief which means that you can set your own, you know, your own task. You have specifics. For example, I really want to do an activity book. What's the activity going to be about? Okay, I'm thinking about doing a Where's Wally, but with unicorns or dragons or flowers, you know, where you have to identify flowers. Okay, how long, how many pages is that going to be? Okay, let's say 20 pages. They're going to be line work, and then I'm going to try and do some in color, or, you know, some of them are going to be very detailed, some of them aren't going to be so as detailed, but I want to complete this project, and I want it done and print ready by the end of 2023. So there you have a project and if you are used to doing freelance work or even just small personal projects or if you studied at university then you'd know how long that would take you and then you say okay cool it's going to take me an hour a day to draw each page to make sure it's all lined properly and then it'll take me another hour a day once I've done all the line work to colour the pages and to make sure it's not too detailed but still a bit simplistic but colorful you know or however you want it or you want it really rendered you want it textured and just vibrant and you know a lot happening on those illustrations to make it harder to find whatever you're looking for in there and therefore then you know you know how long you're, it's going to take so then you will say cool I actually think it's going to take me three hours so okay cool yeah, yeah, yeah this will this project will take me three weeks this is where I can fit it in project one you know start the best thing to do is to start small as well start with small projects small deadlines and then work your way up to longer projects longer deadlines and that I think is way more beneficial and just better in general because then you're not setting yourself up for failure because you know that that is a goal you can reach and you've laid it out perfectly 
So that is what I'm planning to do, setting myself up projects throughout the year um, and try to get them done. I've got some writing projects, some illustration work as well, some children book ideas. And I'm very happy to start, you know, recording that and also going through the process of how to start projects, how to finish projects. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for 2023. Are you setting goals? Are you not setting goals because of, you know, pressure or just general life? <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something from it. Take your time, you know, just... I think a big a big thing that people struggle with when it comes to this New Year's resolution stuff is that they put a lot of pressure on themselves to complete whatever they set out and honestly life happens so if you're not re reaching that goal anytime soon it's okay take a breath you know come back to it relook see how you can fit it in and also how you can change whatever goal you set to fit your current schedules or you know to fit your current skill set because sometimes you'll start a project and maybe your skill set has grown and you don't really fit that project anymore but yeah if you like this video and you like this kind of content please like and subscribe i will be posting at least two videos a month i will try my best and i'll see how this goes thank you bye